Now let us look at a numerical on rotational stresses in thin cylinders. The question says a rim of a rotating wheel 1.2 meters in dia is there. Find the limiting speed of the wheel and change in the dia if the maximum stress is not to exceed 130 MPa and this is the material values for the rim. Okay, a pretty straightforward question. So your diameter is 1.2 meters, your radius would be 0.6 meters, this means 1200 millimeters. Okay, uh, the maximum stress is basically your hoop stress, so that is 130 MPa, so into 10 to the power 6 pascals, isn't it? Uh, the density is given to you and your Young's modulus. Uh, we know that the maximum value of stress is rho omega square r square. So from this equation I can find out omega and from omega I can find out the rpm and that would be the limiting speed. Okay, because you cannot have stress more than this 130. If you increase your speed by the value of n you get then your sigma would increase. So this becomes 130 into 10 to the power 6 is equal to 7700 into omega square into 1 but this is 0.6 radius 0.6 square okay so from here you can easily find out the value for omega which would be approximately 217 radians per second and we know that the value of omega in terms of rpm is 2 pi n by 60 so just equate it and you will get the value for n so n will come out to be approximately 2068 rpm so your rpm is nearly touching 2100 rpm uh, to limit the stress to 130 mpa okay so we have got the first part the second part is to find out the change in dia the change in dia is basically your hoop strain so the strain corresponding to the hoop stress would be hoop strain so that is delta d upon d which is equal to sigma upon e is it so you can find out delta d from here which is sigma upon e into d sigma is how much 130 mp let's now take it into mp only d would be in mn that is 1200 that is gpa so you will have to multiply that with 1000 to make it into mpa so when you solve this the change in diameter is 0.76 millimeters so that is how you look at a question on the rotational stresses in thin cylinders so this is all that we have to do in this particular chapter i hope you understood this now let's move on to the next topic and look at some previous gate questions in the next video series